This is my sound design breakdown of a short horror film called Nibbles Must Die. This film, directed by Melanie McCoy of Quai Films LLC, is about a girl coming home from college and being very anxious about a toy in her bedroom. My job was to increase our audience's anxiety and give them a sense of foreboding. The first step after doing a spotting sheet was the sound editing and the music editing. Adding layered sound effects and manipulating the music set the tone while filling out the world. The next step was Foley. Foley was crucial on our tight timeline, but it wasn't responsible for the most important sounds in the film. This is where sound design came in. My first step with the sound design was to decide what sound should be associated with nibbles. The first one, the tick, was made with two wind-up toys, one being nibbles from the film itself and one being a toy chick whose feet were removed. The tick revealed when Grace was thinking about the toy. The sound when the audience sees nibbles has a different purpose to increase their anxiety so that they can start empathizing with grace. The next sounds I created were a variety of low tones to increase tension. Some of these sounds were custom low rumbles, heartbeats, a metal barrel, and more. Shrill sounds such as the violins used here can be very effective in horror films. I put my own spin on this by creating a set of sounds and phase plants to signal when Grace was in danger. Repeating certain sounds gives the audience associations with them that help them either predict what happens next, feel a certain way, or get their expectations subverted. Once your audience understands what the sounds in your film mean, you can start telling your story more effectively with them. This is when the power of sound design really shines. Thank you for watching.